Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Stanros Probs and today I have got WBIT update. What is WBIT update, Dan? That is, what biome is this? I made an add-on a very long time ago. Whenever you hold a compass, it would tell you what biome you're currently standing in. So I've gone ahead and updated this. There's a few updates. You know, the game's probably updated like four or five times since I last touched this add-on. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll go ahead and go back on a lot of my old videos and start updating or improving add-ons. So look out in the future, I'm going to be making some other videos probably involving add-ons. So yeah, if you are interested in this, you can download this for completely free in the description of the video. But anyway, if I go to resources, this is exactly it. You might recognize it if you've ever seen this before. But basically, what we have to do now is throw a compass on the ground and it will consume it, and then it will tell you what biome you're in. I'll explain more when I get on there, and then obviously there is a behavior pack as well. Both of these need to be enabled, but by the way, you can actually play this with other add-ons active, as so long as you put this one on the top, okay? It doesn't use the player behaviors. So if you're an add-on creator and you understand what I'm talking about, or you, you play a lot with add-ons and stuff, you understand what I'm talking about. It it won't conflict with other add-ons, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to stick this in creative just because. Why not? Right? I'm showcasing it off. I'm going to stick coordinates on as well. And I don't need any experimental features or anything like this. So you don't need to worry about all that. So it's all fine. Okay, guys. So you can see I have just spawned in. Look, and I'm in a kind of like savannah kind of biome, right? We, we can definitely tell that. So as I'm in creative, all I need to do is get myself a compass. Yes, this is going to cost you a bit of redstone and a bit of iron, but it's totally worth it if you want to know what biome you're in. All we need to do, and let me just hop into game mode S so you know this is survival friendly. All we need to do is literally throw that thing on the ground and it says, what biome is this? W bit has been activated. To deactivate it, simply rename any item, W remove W bit and throw that name item on the ground. And uh, as you can see, look, just standing here, it's a beach. And then probably when I touch the grass, it goes to Savannah. So you can see this is very, very, very accurate. You could definitely see, look, if I just tip my little, f the finger I was about to say, my foot across there, you're gonna see it updates in real time. Now, I am very, very chuffed with this because it looks a lot like the coordinates, <laughs> which is awesome, right? Um, so yeah, I can run around and I can tell what biome I'm standing in now, which is beautiful. And it doesn't look ugly and it doesn't look horrible above your hot bar, you know, like where your XP is or anything like that. It's just nice and hidden away in the corner. And it kind of looks vanilla in my opinion. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna just um, get DRP2 to join. So if I hit play on my mobile here. Okay guys, so you can see currently my mobile edition of Minecraft. And um, yeah, I don't really play Pocket Edition much, but I wanted to make sure that this looked okay and it worked fine multiplayer. And a lot of you guys do play on Pocket Edition and stuff. So as you can see, I am moving this. I really don't know how you control Pocket Edition. But anyway, let's grab myself a, a compass, like so, I've got about 64 of them, <laughs> and throw this, you'll see it has been activated. So Dan Rob's Probs on mobile is currently standing in a savannah, and if I go on PC, look, I will go into a savannah and beach. So you can definitely see this is 100% multiplayer compatible as well, which is very, very cool. And not only that, it doesn't use any experimental features, like I said at the start, and it can obviously be played on browns. Now, the beauty of this is, is we've actually got new biomes, right? Like lush caves and dripstone caves and, um, you know, like the snowy slopes and stuff like that, which is all the mountains. It actually works for all that as well, guys, which I'm really shocked by because I thought that we needed to enable some sort of like holiday creator features or something for that. Ah, here we go. This is where we're going. So we're going to go down in here and hopefully find a dripstone cave. Aha, there is some dripstone right there, but I'm going to have to um, affect that S, night vision, a load of random numbers, one and true. 
There we go. So hopefully this will change it to a dripstone cave question mark. Yeah, well, you can see it. There you go. It has changed, which is awesome. It kind of goes in and out of it. It's kind of stuck. There we go. Told you. <laughs> So I'm getting a bit sick of seeing birch forest and, and forests and stuff like that. How do I remove this? So if you remember correctly, if I look up here to deactivate it, I need to rename any item, remove a W bit. So let's just grab some honeycomb here and let's go and get ourselves an anvil. Obviously, the only problem with this is it's going to cost you one XP. I mean, I'm sure that you're not really going to be too fussed by it. But yes, you do need an anvil as well. So that's quite a lot of... Um, iron but you know you'll probably get it quite quickly so all we need to do is just do remove w bit all in capitals so remove what biome is this take that and literally throw that on the ground what biome is this has been deactivated and that's it guys <laughs> no more biome popping up and again if i just want to activate this i can just grab myself a uh, a beautiful little compass throw that and boom there we go. And it prompts up every time with the messages. But anyway, guys, I'm Darren Ross Probs. Thank you very much for watching. And again, you can download that for free in the description of the video. Um, yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned because I am going to be working on more add-ons and stuff and updating things. It's, it's going to be exciting. Take care and I'll see you next time.